Hello and welcome to the Kaizen Project. I am the Kaizen Man. Today's video is about how to make decisions. And this is something that I struggle with lots of times and I'm sure some of you struggle with it as well. There's a lot of decisions to make and you have so many options, so many choices that you can feel bogged down and you actually procrastinate until the last moment and then you just do the first thing or the first option that's available to you. To prevent that, let's talk about how we can make decisions in a calm, controlled and thought out manner. The first way of making decisions is to make less decisions because we have a limited amount of precious cognitive ability in that we only have so much mental bandwidth and if we use that to make decisions about every small little thing, we're going to run out of that and by the end of the day, we're not gonna have enough energy or mental bandwidth to make decisions. For example, when I shoot a video, I know that I'm gonna wear this t-shirt, which means that every time I shoot a video, I don't have to think about what I'm gonna wear, I already know. Lots of highly successful people or HSPs, they eat the same thing for breakfast every single day. And the reason for that is, they don't want to think about what to eat. Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, Barack Obama, all of these people are at the top of their fields, they make the decision to wear the same thing all the time because they know how precious their decision-making ability is. The second way in which to make decisions is to get present. Because if you're lost in your thoughts and you're distracted, you're actually not able to be present in the moment and take in all of the information that is available to you. To get present, focus on your breathing, drop into your body, feel your feet touching the ground. When you feel present, that's when you'll be able to take in the information that's available to you and then take an appropriate decision. And the third way in which you can make decisions is the Ben Franklin method. Now, I'm sure you've heard about this before in which you take a piece of paper, you make a line down the middle. On one side, you write down all the pros of your decision and the other side, you write down all of the cons. Whichever side has more items listed, that's the decision I usually go with. You can also extend this method a little bit further by thinking about the decision that you're going to make and playing it out and seeing if you're comfortable with the different consequences of that decision. Because sometimes we take a decision and we haven't thought about the consequences and then when we get there, we realize that we actually didn't want this consequence. So to recap what we talked about, three ways in which you can make better decisions. The first way is to make less decisions. Automate as much as you can. The second way is to get present, drop into your body. The third way is to use the Ben Franklin pro and con list and then play out the scenarios, make use of the information available to you and then make your decision. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and you can always find me on social media. Use the hashtag, the Kaizen Project. That's project with a K. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, it's the Kaizen Man signing out.